Hey everyone, um, today I'm going to be teaching you everything you basically need to know uh, about using the website as a APHA officer. So I'm going to be very brief, um, but I'm going to tell you everything you need to know, and it shouldn't take you long. So I'm going to teach you four things today. Uh, one, I'm going to teach you how to create events on the website. Uh, two, I'm going to teach you how to use the officer event log. Um, then three, I'm going to teach you how to create sign-up sheets. And lastly, I'm going to teach you how to upload pictures to Facebook. Not really, because you guys probably all know how to upload pictures to Facebook. Anyways, those are the four things. So let's get started. Number one, creating events. So first off, you want to log into the website. If you don't know the address, uh, you can just type in group spaces. APHA is usually the first link. Um, click that you will want to go under the officers tab most of the stuff you will be doing on the website will be under the officers tab you're gonna scroll all the way down and there's a, a link here called event posting so you click that and it will take you to another page okay um, so you're gonna want to fill out this form uh, type in something like Operation Diabetes Screening, like in the example. Event date, you want to put in, let's say, um, February 12th. I don't know why I put the year there, but let's put that anyways. Oops, 2011. Okay, start time and end time. We have an example right there. Let's just use that. 11 p.m. to 3 o'clock p.m. Description, you can put whatever you want. You can put, like, this is a volunteer sheet. Or you can put it's just the event and you want to advertise the event to um, the other APHA officers or members. So you can put whatever you want in here, whatever you want. Uh, event location, if you have one. If you don't, you can put in to be announced, TBA, or if you do know, like HPNP Atrium, something like that. Put in your name. Um, you can put that. That's just for me to contact you. Uh, your email address, also for me to contact you or other people that will see your event. Uh, sign up sheet. This is, um, if you have watched the tutorial for the sign up sheets, this is where you would put it. You can put that in there and click submit. So once you submit it, it will look like that. And within a day or two, your event will be posted. And once it's posted, it will go under the newsfeed. It will look like something like this. Um, a day before your event, it will also be advertised on Facebook just to remind other members. So once you submit it through that, give it a day or two. It'll be some. It'll be submitted on Group Spaces and Facebook. Okay. Okay. Next, I'm going to be teaching you how to create. Um, what was it? Uh, oh, officer event logs. Okay, so creating officer event logs. Let's log into the website, APHA group spaces. Click the link. Um, we will go under officers and scroll all the way down. And the link that says officer event log form. You're going to want to click that. And of course you're gonna log in. And of course you have to have a group spaces account to log in. Um, everyone should be already be updated, so you just need to create a group spaces account if you don't, and then join the APHA group. So this is how you create event um, event log. You just fill out this form. It basically asks you a couple questions about your event you held. Um, usually you do not want to do this no later than three days. It's a documentation that will be submitted to nationals and it's a record of all the events that we have done. So very, very important to do. Um, yeah, so get that done. Um, after you finish submitting all this, uh, you can click submit and it will send it to our database. And that's number two. Next, I'm going to teach you how to create sign-up sheets. And to get started, go to gmail.com. And once you're there, you're going to want to log in with the ASP account, which is ASP 
um, oh, APHA ASP0 and you should know the password and then sign in once you're signed in you're gonna wanna go to the top left here click documents and once that is loaded you're gonna wanna create a new form so you go to create new and you're gonna create a form so they just gonna give you a couple of steps uh, you just fill out all this stuff so once you get started let's t give a title to the form let's say it's uh, operation diabetes uh, the screening on January 25th, uh, 2011. And text, you can type in instructions, um, deadline to sign up, such and such, whatever you want to put there. On the question title, that would be your first question. Let's start off with, uh, let's say name. Help text, you're going to want, if you want to, that's optional. You can put in um, text to help the person fill out the question such as uh, in this box you will type in your name okay so something like that question type uh, you can have them answer in text this will be what it shows for the person that's filling out the form if you if they if you think they need more room you can click paragraph text usually for um, summaries or something like that uh, multiple choice multiple choice check boxes choosing a list these are all, those are all really good choices for time slots so if you have a sign up sheet for different slots like let's say 11:35 a.m. to 12:45 p.m. uh 12:45 p.m. to 1:30 p.m. something like that so then they can just check which box so you can do that with multiple choice check box or choosing a list so um, you can do any of that and of course you you can make this a required question such as name that should be required so once you're done click done and then you can do the same with the next question uh, if you want to add more questions you would simply go to add item up here then click text and you just do the same thing so once you are done click save okay and once it's saved, you can just exit this form. So you can just get rid of that. Uh, then the form will show up. Um, I think you need to refresh it. So, uh, let's just exit that screen and go back into documents again. So there you go. Then it showed up. Uh, here it is. Click it. And there's your uh, questions that you made. Now this is the raw data form. This is where all the data goes once someone enters um, information in the form. So to see what your form would look like, just simply click on form, uh, go to live form, and this will be what it'll look like. So let's let's do an example. Let's say your name is Brian. Uh, sample question, um, I don't know, just blah. Okay, so let's say you're done, click submit and there you go that's that would be someone signing up and what it will look like will be this the data will be timestamped uh, it will show the answer that they put in and such so what's really nice about this is let's say that you have three spots open and four people signed up it will show a time slam and you can sort the data like when you have a lot of data and to show which three signed up first so you can give those people preference and then the fourth person will be an alternative in case one of them don't show up so that is essentially how you create a form okay so now I'm going to teach you how to upload pictures on Facebook first we're gonna go to the APHA website I mean uh, the Facebook group Okay, so we are on the UFAPHA's Facebook page. Uh, one person from each um, operation, such as if there's like three chairs for Operation Diabetes, one person will be in charge and added as an admin, and you can upload pictures to the group. So one person from each operation. So you're going to go to Photos, uh, Create an Album, you're going to load the pictures you have from that event. Um, I don't have any pictures to upload. 
but I mean everyone sh usually knows how to do it just create your album create one for your specific um, group such as let me see let's take a look yeah so IPSF will create their own album uh, if there's an existing album for your group just please add it there and date your pictures so we can have a collective a uh, picture album of all the events that were held in the past by that group. Generation RX has their own, Operation Heart, uh, such and such. So just upload pictures onto there and that's basically it. So we've covered all four things that you need to know and which will make you a good officer. Okay, thank you for watching.